Hey everybody, welcome to a new vlog. Um, it's about noon. It's beautiful. Fucking beautiful outside today. Uh, I think it's going to be like a high of 78, but right now it's like sunny and maybe like 72, 3? I don't know. It's beautiful. I know that. I'm going to be test driving a 2005 Mercury Grand Marquis. It looks like it's a beautiful, beautiful car. I saw a couple pictures of it online. Um, and it's only got like 56,000 miles, something crazy like that. The story that I heard is that the guy that owns the dealership, it's not his car. It's um, a friend of his. And it was his mother's car or something to that effect. And when he got it, it only had a couple thousand miles on it. Okay guys, I finally made it out to uh, the dealership. I am in the car. It has 58,000 miles. Just got into it, just fired it up. It's a pretty cool car, it's pretty clean. They want uh, like five something, five grand. Well, it's listed at 5995. Nine, you could probably talk them down to like, I don't know. I'd shoot for like five two, maybe even five grand. Um, aftermarket deck. It's pretty. It's pretty darn clean. Um, I'm gonna take it down to Copeland Park and start my video um, for the test drive video and all that. But I might even throw in a little clip for my vlog. But uh, yeah, let's get that going. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clip this into my vlog. I am down at Copeland Park, getting ready to do the inside and outside oop nope this is handicap parking can't do that there God, there's so many people down here um ah, I don't really know where to go to picture the inside and the outside oh perfect this is gonna be perfect right up here um but I actually really like this car uh, 2005 Mercury Grand Marquis it's down at uh Mark Nieder Motors on the north side of La Crosse. Jeez, they got rid of a bunch of the boathouses down here. Good. They shouldn't have been down here in the first place. Open it up for fishing. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and get this review done. Okay, this is going to be for my vlog. I'm just going to do a quick walk around of this car. Uh, I don't know if I said it already, 2005 Mercury Grand Marquis, $5,995, you can talk them down to five most likely. 58,000 miles, all leather interior. Um, it's got a lot of cool options, well, older options. But it's a really cool car. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's great for the money too. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Continue my test drive video head back to the dealership drop this off and then go hiking Okay, I just got done with my test drive video. It went pretty well. I think um, I'm gonna continue my vlog. I'm heading back to the dealership right now. Now. I just got to figure out how to tell this guy I don't want your vehicle <laughs> um, I'm just gonna be like, you know what? I think at the end of the day It's just a little big for me and it doesn't get the gas mileage that I would like and that's what I'm gonna go with He's got a few cars here He's got a uh, Chevy, I think, Cobalt or some shit like that. Excuse my language. That I wouldn't mind driving. Okay. On to my vlog and hiking. God, is this a turn? I think it might be. I'm going to be doing... No, no, it's not. It is not the turn, Adam. Not the turn. It's a little bit further down. But I'm going to be doing the Bicentennial Trail. I don't think I'm going to go all the way to the top. It goes to the Overlook. You guys have seen me do that a few times. I've done it a, more than a dozen times, but that's where I'm going. Um, Mark Nieder Motors. Oh, man, that guy is so nice. Um, you know, nine times out of ten, usually when I test drive a vehicle for, you know, video's sake and I bring it back, um, they, they give me this look. I really don't know how to describe it, and I get treated a certain way, like... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not going to try. But he does not do that. Uh, he's just kind of like, eh, you don't want the car, uh, whatever. 
And I was like, hey, thanks, man. He was like, hey, thanks, buddy. You have a good day. He didn't even give me any crap or whatever. Love it. He's a hell of a nice guy. Um, next year, I'm going to be looking for a car. Uh, I'm probably going to go through Brennigan, but I'm not going to, um, you know, uh, completely take him out of the equation. If he's got a nice car, something I'm looking for right around that time, I'll give him my business. Very, very nice guy. And uh, for everybody watching this video, um, if you're in my area, consider him. Mark Nieder Motors, uh, La Crosse, Wisconsin. Uh, this place is relatively new. 199 ride. Uh, I, I didn't catch the full name. I've been meaning to check that place out. But uh, I'm pretty sure Brennigan's going to get my business when I eventually uh, get a car. But we are almost at the uh, set of trails that I go to, and I'm going to put the camera down for a sec. Okay, no surprise here. There's more than a few people on the trails today. I don't normally like parking to vans. Oh my god, I don't know how I feel about this. There's a van on each side. I should explain this real quick. I don't like parking next to vans because usually people with vans have kids, and kids don't give a crap about other people's property, I don't think, in my opinion. And our car doesn't have a lot of dents. Um, I don't want, it has a few, but I don't want any more than we already have. I'm gonna move. I just don't trust it. I see a spot over there that's a little better than the one I have. Yeah, you're just... Oops. <laughs> I accidentally honked. Yeah, you're just asking for a dent right there. In that spot. There we go. Nestled in between two vehicles that have next to no damage. Something tells me they, they care about their vehicles and they're not going to swing open their doors and try and hit mine. On accident, of course. A little further into the hike, guys. I just ran into a couple that haven't been here in a while. They were asking uh, if the trail uh, goes further down this way. And they wanted to know if it branched off and went back to the parking area. Well, it most certainly does. You have that option. But you always, or always, you also have the option to go up to the outlook point, which is what I usually do. The trail that um, takes, geez, right in my ear. I don't know how much more filming I'm gonna get to do. I might have to turn around, the bugs are getting bad. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around here, guys. But I never take the one that branches off and loops back to the parking area. I've never been a big fan of that one. Uh, Actually, if you look back into some of my older vlogs, it might be in there, but I took that way, and I almost got hit by a tree. A tree fell, and we're not talking a tree branch, we're talking a tree, like a big-ass tree, fell, and I could hear it coming down, and it almost hit me. Crazy. Ooh. I am at the end of the trail here, guys. I don't think there's going to be too much more to this vlog. I've been eating alive. But, uh, test drive, hike. I'm, god damn. I'm headed back home to edit some of this stuff. Uh, make dinner. And I think that's about it for me. I'm going to go to bed early. i got to get up early and go to work early in the morning, so. Please like this video, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, and you guys have a good day.